Over the last 30 years, the number of children at Glasgow's primary schools has fallen from 110,000 to just 40,000. Population movements meant that some schools were on the fringes of the community instead of being at the heart of them. The old school was a typical Victorian Glasgow primary school. It was on three floors. Accommodation was not suited to what teaching nowadays needs. Uh, we had to make do a lot of times. With the decline in pupils, the council couldn't afford to maintain the large, half-empty buildings, and children's education needs were being hampered by outdated facilities. Clearly, something had to be done. In 2001, Glasgow City Council established a programme to rebuild and modernise nursery, primary and special needs schools in Glasgow. Well, we've been involved in regenerating the communities of Glasgow uh, for the last five to ten years. And one thing that became clear as we saw new housing building up, uh, changing population profiles, that our schools were beginning to stand out like sore thumbs. They were half empty, they were run down, and they really needed a radical solution, and that's what this strategy has provided. Understandably, such a radical solution has caused some worry and concern. The only thing as a downfall as a parent is um, the un inconvenience of taking your kids to another school. A lot of the concerns were that it was going to be one big school and that the classrooms were maybe going to be smaller because it was all coming together and there wasn't as many classrooms in the new school as there was in the old school. When um, things were coming into to play, they were showing plans, everything seemed fine. Um, but my concerns were, you know, would it be exactly what we were going to get? I was worried because I was so used to the old building and that and, yeah. I was worried because it was all different schools going to get mixed together and I was used to my old friends. But it's important that we address the concerns of parents. People are rightly concerned about their, 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 their kids and they want to make sure that they're getting the best um, school they possibly can. And very often it's easy to take the, the comfortable um, status quo approach. Um, but we in fact found that by bringing schools together we were creating healthy roles in brand new buildings that parents began to love, teachers tell us they enjoy um, working in and pupils are getting a better learning experience in. When you look round and you see this, the rafters when you're teaching and rain coming in and destroying displays and things, the children's work getting wasted by it, you think, well, you've got to, you've got to move on. <laughs> Parents that were concerned about the move, um, I would reassure them that um, we would do our you know, utmost to make sure the children were safe, secure, that the building was appropriate. Obviously, um, there would be a lot of communication with ourselves and the, the architects and builders of the school and um, making sure that the children had the correct environment to learn in. Throughout uh, last session, we were working with the children, uh, talking about change and how things change and why things change. Parents were involved in all of that process. Keppock Campus in Postle Park was the first combined campus to be built in Glasgow, setting the standard for future projects. We were really involved from a, an early stage in fairly intensive discussions with uh, education services in Glasgow as to how to achieve a, a quality teaching environment for the, for the 21st century. Really, I guess, at the heart of it was the, the quality of the teaching spaces, the actual, the actual classrooms. And also, there were certain things that were very key to um, education, the actual teaching space is required to have an amount of natural ventilation. Um, one of the problems in the past had been maybe south facing classrooms without um, ventilation getting very hot and stuffy. The facilities in the new school have made such a difference to the way we work. The, everything is geared to be what it is meant to be. We have a proper full sized gymnasium which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful, the children love it. We have rooms designated for specific purposes, so we have an IT suite. We have a room that is used as an art room, so everything is actually designed to be used properly and the way school should be used in, in the 21st century. We recognise how sensitive children are to changes in their environment. 
I was worried that it would have been really bad and it would have been hard to get up to it because, like, my mum drops me off and then I walk into the school. I was a bit worried about getting lost on the way to the toilet or, or, or on the way to school, but uh, I found them way pretty quickly. We go to considerable lengths to make the transition to a new school as seamless as possible. This ranges from ensuring that there is curricular continuity in terms of the learning and teaching uh, that is undertaken in each of the schools and that pupils' learning and teaching will continue to progress when they go into the new school. This is important um, that uh, the pupils have an opportunity uh, to socialise and therefore uh, a range of activities are put in place in order that young people have an opportunity, whether through sport, through the arts, through culture, through discos, uh, to meet prior to going into the new school. This we've found uh, exceptionally helpful in uh, creating a, a new feel and a new community for this school uh, from day one. It was quite easy to get um, used to, it's just we, adap it's, we adapted to it quite um, well it's because it's, most of this was better than the, the older school. We've got a bigger gym hall, the other gym hall was too small and we've, we've mixed in with new people now and get to know a lot of new people. I didn't anticipate that it would be as easy as this in terms of the children adapting. They're over the moon about having a building, as I say, that's, that's actually dry. Staff morale's gone up definitely, and um, with the building being so bright and everything being so accessible, everyone is happier to work, uh, to come to work, to get on with their job. They're more active in the classroom. There's a lot more interactive things going on because we have the resources around us. It's a beautiful teaching environment. Um, you've got um, very bright and airy classroom, as I've said. You've got teaching walls. You've got work benches with computers. You have got lovely carpets, which reduces the noise, and um, overall, a, a, an excellent resource. Uh, the desks and chairs can be adjusted to a certain height, so if we've got a certain child who's slightly taller, we can just adjust their desk. The lights in the classroom, you don't have to switch them on or off. When you come into the building, when you come into the room, they just come on automatically. I think parents find it more relaxing to come into this building. I think because the office isn't upstairs, it's not out of the way, it's just a much friendlier working environment. Keppock campus has placed a Roman Catholic primary school, a non-denominational primary school, two different types of nursery, along with a school for children with special needs. I think the, the greatest benefit for mainstream children um, is the fact that they um, are able to provide a, a support for our children and, and really get to know our children. Children from mainstream see our children first and foremost as children. The fact that mainstream and special needs children come together um, is breaking down barriers and uh, it's, it's not only a learning experience for Hullbomb, but it's also a learning experience for mainstream children. And I believe, you know, given the right prospects, that they're our future carers and doctors and nurses. While at first there was a degree of discomfort, perhaps, um, and there had to be a sort of a settling in time where the children learned to understand what the needs of the children were from Brimley. But I think that the tolerance levels have increased enormously. By 2004, Glasgow City Council had opened six new campuses, with more being planned and built. As well as all the other modern facilities, each campus has a new pre-5 nursery on site. What we've been trying to do is bring uh, both pre-5 and primary age children onto a single campus. 
so that uh, parents were not running from one venue to another um, to bring under fives and the school age children uh, to school. I think it is a good idea to have a nursery within a primary school because they're, they're aware of the surroundings, they're aware, and it's aware not... of the, the actual inside of the school, what, you know, where the toilets are, things like that. The nursery point of view as well for the, the children in the school and the nursery to be combined together is fantastic, yeah. The great advantages and benefits of this nursery is that it has a secure, open outdoor area for the children to access on a daily basis. It means that they can come outside, thank you, they can enjoy the open air, they can enjoy the greenery, the pond life. Across the road we had no access to outdoor areas at all. As part of the regeneration programme, the new campuses are designed to be used not just by the school, but by the community for a wide range of sport and leisure activities. Certainly Glasgow City Council are trying to promote this as a community school that can be used um, in many different ways. It's a real focal point for the community. It's almost a one-stop shop. It's bringing in actually people from out with the area into, into the time of this area for the school because it's a new school and they feel that it's a better, they're getting a better education at this school. Um, my mum likes the school now because like, it's much bigger and um, like she thinks it's safer because of the high fences and the gates. My mum thinks that it's much safer because of the security cameras as well. The security's better because you're in off the roads ah, and they've got high fences and all that where, yeah. you know, they can't escape. Yeah. <laughs> Now every part of the school is covered by camera and we can look in to, to anywhere. <coughs> this is a view of the nursery. We, we like to keep the camera on the nursery at all times so that there's no, no intruders come in there whatsoever. I feel the school's got good facilities, good background. Uh, they've got a lot of places to play and it's a really good school. I think a new school's great. What a difference for the old school. The facilities are fantastic. I don't think they've missed anything out inside at all. The new schools are fabulous. I think the children really appreciate that as well. So I think it's a, a really good move. The difference in the, the pupils is really amazing as well. You'd probably seen outside, we've not had a bit of graffiti inside or outside the school. The children seem more contented. <laughs> Their attitude has changed completely. It's nicer and cleaner and better. This school's pure top form. It is absolutely fantastic. And this is just the start. If you'd like to find out more about Glasgow City Council's plans to regenerate our primary, nursery and special needs schools, call us on 0141 287 4825 or visit our website www.glasgow.gov.uk